Hello there, and welcome to the Pets Plenty channel. Making a selection between the English Cocker Spaniel and the American Cocker Spaniel can be pretty challenging, as both breeds are outstanding in their unique ways. We understand this challenge, so don't worry. As usual, we've got you covered here on Pets Plenty. Today on the channel, we've gathered all the helpful information about these breeds to help you make the ultimate choice on the dog which gets that particular spot in your home with a nine-round battle that covers all aspects of life from their history to their health. Before we continue though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the join button. All right, here we go. The English Cocker Spaniel versus the American Cocker Spaniel. Let's start the fight. Round one, history. The English Cocker Spaniel and the American Cocker Spaniel get their names from their respective countries of origin, England and North America. Although these dogs have a similar ancestor, they began to develop separately in the late 19th and early 20th centuries when new breed standards were developed on each side of the Atlantic Ocean. They have a close origin, so let's keep moving with one point each for this round. Round 2 – Appearance the English Cocker Spaniel is a more giant dog breed than its American counterpart. A healthy English Cocker Spaniel weighs between 26 and 34 pounds on average. Considering they only reach a maximum height of 17 inches, it isn't a giant dog. Their height to width ratio makes them square in shape. There are several physical distinctions between these two species of mammal. The English Cocker Spaniel, for instance, has a more prominent and flatter skull than its American counterpart. Additionally, the dog has thick hair and drooping ears and its eyes are broader than those of an American dog. The English Cocker Spaniel was developed in England. They may reach a height of 17 inches, a weight of 34 pounds, and are distinguished by a square body and large, expressive eyes. Both the American and its European relative have shorter muzzles and softer fur. An American Cocker Spaniel is between 20 and 30 pounds and roughly 13 inches in height. In general, dogs of this breed tend to be longer than taller. He or she has smaller ears, a shorter nose, and a more dome-shaped head than the English type. There are some minor distinctions between the two creatures, but they are sufficient to distinguish between them. They get a point each in this round for their similar appearances, and the scoreboard has two points for the English and two for the American. Round 3 – Temperament the English and American Cocker Spaniels are little dogs, but their personalities and habits are distinct. Their personalities and habits significantly differ between the English and American Cocker Spaniels. The English Cocker Spaniel has a reputation for being an enthusiastic, loyal, and devoted family pet. Among its human owners, the breed is renowned for developing a personality that is at once joyful and affectionate. However, the dog's intense hunting drive makes it dangerous around smaller animals. They have a high IQ, yet they suffer from little separation anxiety. As a breed, American Cocker Spaniels are generally well-liked by their human families. They put their faith in friends and family members and generally have a positive outlook on life. They have a high degree of trust, form strong bonds with those they know to be in their family, and consistently exhibit an upbeat disposition. However, they suffer from separation anxiety and may have trouble being left alone at home. Both dogs are well known for their outspoken natures. Because of their size difference and potentially violent nature, they may need to be closely monitored around young children. They have the same temperament, so they get a point each. It's three for the English and three for the American Spaniel. Round 4 – Socialization most dogs, including English Cocker Spaniels and American Cocker Spaniels, are most suited to become family pets. They tend to engage in destructive activity if left alone for long periods. Cocker Spaniels are excellent companions for anyone who can devote a lot of time to training and socializing the dog. Due to their need for human interaction, both breeds are vulnerable to depression and other mental health problems when left alone for long periods. Provide a safe chew toy to play with to prevent your Cocker Spaniel from being bored while you're God. To avoid accidents and choking hazards, ensure that there aren't any harmful pieces your dog might choke on before giving them to him. When correctly socialized, especially from a young age, they both turn out to be fantastic family pets. Again, they get a point each for their social lifestyle. This brings us to four points for the English and four for the American Spaniel. Round 5 – Grooming 
The American and English varieties of the Cocker Spaniel need a lot of time and effort in grooming. To save time spent grooming, some owners of Cocker Spaniels choose to shorten their dog's coats. In addition to this and daily combing, the profuse coat of a Cocker Spaniel is prone to matting and tangling. Because of their prodigious shedding, both English and American Cocker Spaniels need extensive care. Maintaining the finest possible condition for the dog's coat is possible via regular de-shedding brushing sessions. Getting a decent vacuum cleaner is a must if you're contemplating any of these breeds because of the amount of hair they shed. Both breeds need daily tooth cleaning as a part of their routine care. When brushing your dog's teeth, make sure you only use canine toothpaste. Like other breeds, the nails on Cocker Spaniels must be cut at least once a month. Discoloration around the eyes must also be scrubbed out. A complete examination must be done on the entire body to avoid health issues. Some owners of English Cocker Spaniels and American Cocker Spaniels choose to groom their dogs at home. Although it might save money to learn how to groom the Cocker Spaniel's coat yourself, doing so can be time-consuming. And the fight moves on to the next round, with five points for the English and five points for the American Cocker Spaniel. Round 6. Exercise English and American Cocker Spaniels are high-energy dogs who need daily walks and running in a gated area to be happy and healthy. Both dog breeds need at least an hour of daily activity, preferably more. While the English Cocker Spaniel thrives in homes with a large fenced-in backyard where he can run and play freely, owners should be aware that the dog's innate prey drive might lead to mischief if the yard isn't secure. As a companion breed, American Cocker Spaniels do not need as much physical activity as their English counterparts. Since he loves spending time with his folks, any physical activity that involves the two of you will do. Fun examples include going for a stroll, playing catch in the park, or even just tossing the ball around in the backyard. They get a point each for their high energy levels and human engagement. Six points for the English and six for the American Spaniel. Round 7. Training Cocker Spaniels are known for their cheerful, dedicated personality and eagerness to please. Because of its sensitivity, this breed is particularly vulnerable to the effects of severe training methods. Get your new puppy started off right by enrolling in obedience training programs. To guarantee a balanced dog, it's important to begin socializing it early. Use various methods to introduce it to new environments, people, and other canines. As long as positive reinforcement is utilized, he learns quickly and likes working with his person. Person. They both deserve a point for their intelligence and eagerness to please. With seven points each, we move over to the next round of the fight. Round 8 – Diet and Nutrition both breeds thrive on high-quality dog food tailored to the English Cocker's life stage. Generally, twice a day, exact portions are fed. Avoid feeding your pet too many table scraps and keep them away from cooked bones and fatty meals. Investigate which typical human meals may be fed to your dog and which should be avoided. Cockers have a high propensity for getting overweight, therefore, they must watch their daily food consumption, including treats. See your vet if you're worried about your dog's health due to its size or food. For their diet and nutritional needs, they get a point each for this round. Moving on to the last round with eight points each, we're eager to know if any dog will distinguish itself and make a difference on the scoreboard. Round 9 – Health while English and American Cocker Spaniels tend to be relatively healthy, they are susceptible to some illnesses as any other breed. Not all dogs are prone to these health issues. Still, it is crucial to be aware of them if you're contemplating adopting an English Cocker, while it's true that not all of them affect every dog of this breed. Remember that a dog with a health clearance has been tested for and found free of specific diseases or illnesses. Look for a reputable breeder willing to provide you with health documentation for both parents parents before you commit to purchasing a puppy from them. Regular checks and vaccine routines will work excellently for keeping a stable and healthy life in both breeds. You'll agree that they both deserve a point each for being a healthy breed. And we've come to the end of today's contest, with each dog going home with nine points each. This tells us that Cocker Spaniels make an excellent choice for you and your household.
We'd love to conclude by saying that every human has a choice. When adopting any dog, it's vital to consider your personal needs and the environment. However, it's always worth knowing about the similarities and differences between these breeds. As we mentioned, both breeds can work excellently as pets or companions. This is our evaluation. Remember, yours may be different. In addition, before adopting a dog, do well to seek professional advice from the breeder and your veterinarian. What are your thoughts on today's contest? Let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.